Okay, if you could first off uh, state your name, spell it for me, and give me your title here. Okay. My name is Mary Rinder, M-A-R-Y-R-I-N-D-E-R. -E I'm Director of Diagnostic Imaging at the Loretto Hospital. Okay. So let me shut this because it's keep keeps beeping. Oh, okay. Okay, so we'll start off by talking about the total synthesis. Total synthesis. Okay, uh, explain to me what is it? So conventional mammography uses two-dimensional mammography images width and length. Tomosynthesis uses three-dimensional um, imaging so that images that may be or areas that may be overlapping are separated out and we can see whether there is a nodule, a lesion, or just an overlap of tissue. This um, great re greatly reduces the number of diagnostic imaging we need to do unnecessarily. But um, if there is something that may be hiding behind the tissue, then we'd be able to see it and perform additional imaging as necessary. Okay, and what patients use this? Uh, these are, um, well, we could, males also do have um, diagnostic mammograms. So on occasion, a male, but primarily females um, from the ages of 40 through as old as needed, um, especially those women who are premenopausal or perimenopausal because the, um, the breast tissue is very dense and it's very difficult to see behind the overlying tissue. This way, like a loaf of bread, it separates everything out. Okay. And this is the cutting edge of technology, right? This is the future. Can you, can, you, can you tell me about that? This is. So for 40 years, we have been using conventional mammography, which gives overlapped images of the breast tissue. Um, about four or five years ago, they, the FDA approved the three-dimensional mammography or tomosynthesis that the Loretto Hospital now has. Um, and there are not many facilities that do offer this three-dimensional imaging. Oh. We do get um, calls from patients whose insurance has directed them towards our facility um, because even the insurance companies know that this is the state-of-the-art mammography service. Okay, and uh, so th this, this helps support the statement of uh, the the future at Loretto, the technology here is, is growing and it's helping people and it's helping patients. Can, can you tell me that? So I believe that every person, every woman deserves mm -hmm. the highest technology for health care. And what we've done is we've brought this state-of-the-art technology to the Austin community so that right in their neighborhood all women can come and have the same technology as downtown hospitals as University of Illinois as all of the other facilities okay and what does this mean for the patients here in the community and at Loretto the Loretto Hospital um, well a number of things I think that first of all we're able to get high quality images so that every woman will know that when she has the her annual mammogram, was there something there that needs to be followed up or can she relax and know that she is all set for the next year? Um, I think also um, in the diagnostic imaging department especially, we have worked very hard to bring the high technology services, CT scanning, DEXA scanning, tomosynthesis for mammography, MRI, ultrasound, 
all the diagnostic services that any patient, does, all patients deserve, and especially the patients in our community. Okay, and not only do we have the cutting edge technology here, but in the future, there, there's going to be more things coming that mm -hmm. y y you guys want to get, right? Can, can you tell me that? Absolutely. We want to, uh, especially in women's imaging services, we do have um, the diagnostic tomosynthesis. We have breast ultrasound. We also have the um, breast biopsy services, but we want to continue updating. They have come up with um, higher... Um, more technologically precise ultrasound imaging that we are looking to bring to the Loretto Hospital. Um, we are looking for, the, this would provide us with ultrasound guided biopsies that um, can take just a speck of tissue and be able to, um, rather than a patient going into surgery, be able to decide whether or not there's a positive diagnosis. How vital is it to the patients here that you here at the Loretto Hospital stay on top of technology and, and, and get these new machines and, and new, new research and, and technology here? How vital is it in this community? I don't, I and I think I speak for everyone here at the Loretto Hospital, a zip code should not determine the level of health care that a patient receives. Any patient that can receive something in downtown hospitals should be able to come to the Loretto Hospital and also receive those same diagnostic services. And that's what we are building on. All right, perfect. Thank you.